Welcome to Show Me Creeks. I'm Larry, and I'm already sweating. And just dragging 10 feet, all this stuff will wear you out. But since I got you guys here, what I'm going to start out this video with is a gear check. I get a lot of people asking me what I use, what kind of stuff it is, so we're going to run through it real quick. The kayak is a bona fide SS107, which means it's 10 foot, 7 inches long. All my camera mounts are Yak Attack mounts. Same with the rod holders. Those are Yak Attack rod holders. My rods are Luz, Xfinity Speed Stick, medium heavy, seven foot. And then this one is a just a medium 6'9 or 6'10. All I have is uh, Fluger 35s. Uh, these, the two medium heavies, have 14 pound Berkeley Fireline. And then this one has, I don't know what it is, it's like six pound though. All right, I got a White River net here. That's the um, same one I had. Left it at the boat ramp. Somebody made out on a good deal. I got it for free. So, anyway, let's just move on along. Here's the bending branches paddle. That's what I got. The trolling motor is a Minn Kota Enduro 45 thrust. 45 pound thrust. Um, I need to get a lighter battery. This is just a regular old trolling motor battery and a um, Minn Kota battery box we're all green we're good to go let's go ahead and get on in here and see what we can get i'm going to start out throwing the uh black choppo the old mag draft and a little rooster tail there's all kinds of fish in here one guy earlier today told me he caught three species one of them being a walleye so if i can catch a couple of those it'd be pretty cool i actually caught my pb walleye out of here a long time ago last but definitely not least my life jacket is an onyx automatic manual you can either pull that and then the air up or there's a little plastic piece or something not plastic but something there that dissolves and then the air up for you okay i just put in i'm already sweating today it's gonna be a hot one we're gonna get in and out of here i plan on maybe being here two hours Oh, come on. Nice. This guy hit her pretty quick. First little largemouth of the day. Drilled it, bud. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's just get a quick measurement. Good 13 inches. Let's toss it back here. Yeah, well, that wasn't too bad, 13 inches. I'll definitely take that. I must have put that thing right in its mouth almost because he hit it instantly. Let's keep trying to do it like that. Pretty cool looking little area. Be a lot cooler if it had some bass in it though. I'll just paddle through this little area. Try to save my trolling motor. Okay, right on top of him again. That's the luckiest fish in the world. This hooks went up in there and come out over here. Hooked it on the other side of the gill. I ended up getting it out without hurting it. That is awesome. Not much of a fish, but great little story. Let's toss it back. I'll actually be shocked if I don't catch something here. All right, 
There it is. Wasn't able to get the hit on camera. As soon as I said, oh, I bet something's over here. Camera died and this thing drilled it. Not too shabby. Say there's other fish over there. Well, it ain't been too bad so far today, but I did not expect it to be this small. This is all the water that feeds this entire river. I'm going to go ahead and head on downstream. I walked up there and threw the chopo around and had a bunch of little fish chasing it. So I went ahead and grabbed the rooster tail and threw it up there and... They were hitting it all over the place, but I couldn't hook any of them. I got a nice little tiny long ear right here a minute ago, but we're going to go ahead and head on downstream. I don't see no point of pulling it up that, just to pull it up more, to pull it up more, to pull it up more. We'll just get on down here. We'll fish the other side, and then we'll go past where I put in at and fish until we see something like this, and then turn around and come back to the truck. That kind of scared me. <laughs> Come up and hammer it. That's what we want. Oh, there he is. That's darker than the rest of them. Very pretty, though. Put it back. Oh. Left my pliers somewhere, which sucks when you're using treble hooks. For me, I don't like messing with it. Just need a guesstimate. Got my thing all caught up. There's a 20. We're looking at least 17 here. Oh. The scale. That's a good one. Killed that Chopo, buddy. What? Scale ain't working. I'd say two and a half pounds. All right, there it is. This is the biggest one of the day so far. We're gonna keep slinging this around though. That black choppo is putting in some work. Okay. Let's go ahead and let this thing go. Nice, very nice. All right, well that's gonna do it. We're gonna get on out of here. It is hot, I'm hungry, and I think I had a pretty good day, especially with that last fish. It was a really good one. Let's just crank his trolling motor up and get on out of here.